Hey guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I'm gonna show to rig an animate character with Twig Angela in After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, first one, let's select his face elements and let's link to head layer. Select his eyes, eyebrows and mouth. Let's link to head. Select head, let's see. Let's press R. Okay, and let's zoom to here. Let's unsolo. Select pan behind. Move the anchor point down. Change rotation again. Okay, very nice. And let's select his hair back. Link to head. Let's change rotation again. Okay, that's good. So I want to close this part. Click toggle switch modes. Okay. And select this here. Let's link to body. And in this time, let's select this layer 1, 2 and 3. This is hand layers for right hand. And select these layers, press T, change opacity. Okay. And go to pen tool. Let's make line like this. Okay. After create this mask, don't click the selection tool. Go to window, open do you Angela. Okay, so let's click this icon. And after create this mask, go to humanite, let's create arm. Okay, so we have four bones. Let's select this last bone and delete. Okay, let's change bone name one, and this two, and this three. And let's links, select this layer one, link to bone one, select layer two, link to bone two, and select this layer 3, link to bone 3. And select these 3 bones, go to Duke Angela and click Auto Rig. Waiting for rigging. Okay, we have new controller. Let's select here. And let's see. Okay, that's good. So, let's select controller and go to icon. Let's move to left. Nice. So, unsolo all these layers and select this bone 3. Let's link to body. Select body, press R. Let's see. Nice. And select this pan behind icon. Move the anchor point down for body. Let's change rotation again. Okay, that's good. So, in this time, let's select this layer 1, 2, 3 again. Go to solo. Okay, and let's change opacity again. Press T, change opacity for rigging. And let's select these two and one. Let's move to here. And don't select any layers. Go to pen tool. Let's add one line like this, and one here and here. And don't click section two. Go to humanoid. Let's create arm okay select last bone and let's change names this is one this bone two and this three and select this bone three let's link to body okay and let's make links select layer one link to bone one and select layer two again link to bone two and layer three Link to bone 3. Let's close these settings. Okay, and select these three bones. Go to again Duke Angela, click Auto Rig. Nice. Let's select new controller. Let's see. Okay, that's good. And let's go to again icon, move to left, and unsolo all these layers. Also, these layers. Okay, and let's select this phone. Let's link to this controller. Select controller, let's see. Okay, that's good. And select phone, let's put here. Nice. And we can change rotation a little bit. Okay, so in this time, let's select these hand layers. Press T again, change opacity to 100. Also, right hand, select these right hand layers, press T, 
change opacity 100 and close settings and also these settings okay so let's go to click this icon and select body and let's click this icon for create controller and select body let's link to new controller for body select body press air let's see nice okay so select this bone three let's link to body with chain rotation again okay that's good so for better rotation we can change this part for smooth that is not problem select these bone layers let's click this icon and hide and click this icon for hide all layers also select hand layers and click this icon for hide okay and we have make animation only controllers let's select this controller change name by the controller and this left hand this controller for right hand okay nice so right now we can make animation let's select this right hand controller close the angela and let's press p make new passing keyframe go to here i will make random keyframes let's move right this hand and go to here make new passing keyframe go to some keyframes and let's move to left select keyframes make easies let's see okay let's select all keyframes hold alt move to left for fast keyframes okay and let's select this body press air open rotation make rotate keyframe and let's chain rotation one or three chain two okay let's move to down this body a little bit and chain rotation three go to 10 keyframe for shortcut you can use hold shift press page down in keyboard and change rotation minus three let's zoom to here and go to here hold shift press p make new passing keyframe go to center move to down for bones animation go to last keyframe select first keyframe copy pass select all keyframes make easy or click f9 let's see nice and let's go to some keyframes make new rotation go to 10 keyframe change again let's change 4 let's see okay go to here let's make again new keyframe go to 10 keyframe change minus 4 or minus 2 and go to here again make new rotation go to 10 keyframe change 3 also here make new rotation go 10 keyframe change minus 3 and let's go to 7 seconds press n for select work area and right mouse and trim come to work area let's select this and finally go to here make new rotation go to 10 keyframe change rotation 0 and select these three passing keyframes let's control c go to here let's paste here and here paste and here and here let's see okay so in this time let's select these modes and let's zoom to here press s click this icon make scale keyframe and go to some keyframes for go to one keyframe use page down in keyboard let's change scale like this got some keyframes change scale again go to i want to make touching animation for random scale keyframes let's select keyframes make easy let's see nice so select keyframes let's control c and control v for loop animation select all keyframes again control c go to last keyframe control v and again make someone let's see nice 
So select this left hand controller, press P and make new person keyframe. Go to here. Let's change like this. Let's see. Okay, this is like an video call animation. Go to here again like this. And some keyframes, make new keyframes, go to here, move to down. Also, we can add rotation. Let's hold shift press air, go to here, make rotation keyframe and go to last keyframe, change rotation like this. Let's see. Nice. And select keyframes, let's move to here. Okay, that's good. Select these keyframes, move to here for synchron animation. And select all keyframes. Let's make easy. Let's make new passing keyframe again. Go to some keyframes. Let's move that up. And go to here. Make new position. Go to last keyframe here. Move it down. And go to back. Make new rotation. Go to last keyframe. Chain rotation like this. And select these keyframes. Let's control C. Go to here. Control V. Okay, so let's select this last patch in keyframes, Control C, go to here and Control V for static animation. Okay, that's good. So go to here, select this right hand controller, make new patch in keyframe, and go to here. Let's move to back or move to up. And go to here, make new passing keyframe, go to again some keyframes, move to back and select passing keyframes. Let's control C, go to here, control V for loop animation. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So, finally, let's make ice animation and heat animation. Select ice, press S, let's zoom to here and click this icon. And right now, let's make scale keyframe, go to 3 keyframe, 1, 2, 3, change scale 5, go to 3 keyframe, 1, 2, 3, change 100. Select scale keyframes, let's make easy ease. And let's control C, let's make random keyframes with control V, paste keyframes. Let's see. Nice. And finally, select this here. Press R and in this time make rotation keyframe and go to 10 keyframe. Let's change rotation like this and go to here. In this time make new rotation, go to 10 keyframe, change rotation like this and go to here again. Make new rotation, go to 10 keyframe, change rotation and go to back. Let's hold shift press P. Let's add bones, make new passing keyframe. Go to center, move it down, and go to last keyframe. Select first keyframe, copy pass. Let's see. Nice. Select all keyframes, make easy. Select three passing keyframes. Let's control C, go to here, and paste keyframes. And select these all keyframes. Let's control C, go to here, control V for loop animation. And let's make synchron animation here. And this. Okay, let's see. Okay, looks good. So friends, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.